Over 15 years of history, a video game culture can cultivate an extraordinarily large vocabulary. Whether you're a new player who wants any idea of what's being thrown about in chat, or a veteran who's just curious about what language TF2 officially considers worthy to have part of its player term glossary, I hope you find some enjoyment in having a quick skim of the TF2 dictionary. Subscribe for part 2 which will either be B or B to D depending on how long you guys think these videos should be. First up, we've got achievement servers or achievement maps. That era really does feel like a different lifetime. It's a server or map that allows people to get achievements really easily without disrupting other players in standard servers. These also appear in idle servers but We'll get onto what that means in the i video. You can get achievements orchestrated with friends or some apps have their own exploit contraptions that allow you to get certain difficult achievements very quickly. These servers were quickly made fairly redundant to most people who didn't find getting achievements fun when a large amount of trade servers implemented an exclamation mark free items chat command which would unlock every single achievement in the game for you including giving you the items that were associated with those free achievements. These maps often feel empty and eerie nowadays mostly due to the lack of players but most of the map designs did have that eerie soulless feeling with that creepy ambience in the background and that just kind of soulless half-life feeling they're in a lot of these Valve games. I'm sure Valve enthusiast YouTubers like Rick to Overtime could have a field day making a video on them if they haven't already. Next up we've got the air shot or aerial. It's when a projectile hits an opponent who's mid-air, usually following a juggle. You most commonly see this when the soldier shoots a rocket at your feet to propel you into the air before shooting another rocket at you when you're at your highest peak and moving the slowest so it's easy to hit. A couple other examples would be a flare gun or a reserve shooter pyro where they air blast you up before shooting you or some strange double dunks from the demo. ADS is an acronym for aiming down sights, often referred to as an act, ADSing where snipers scope in for extended periods of time. This is usually a good thing for those trying to ambush the snipers, as they will be super tunnel visioned and not have a lot of spatial awareness. This lack of game sense means that people who do this are usually relatively inexperienced or going for cheap kills by storing lots of charge in their sniper, and it's very comparable to hard scoping in COD. Cause like, if you were good at aiming, you'd be able to quick scope and instant headshot people anyway. Moving on, add up is a chat term used to ask someone to challenge them to a 1v1 MG duel. This is because of the exclamation mark add command that's often used in service to create an arena. If you want to learn more about MGE, check out my video explaining on how it's great for training your TF2 skills, which will be in the description. AFK! Everyone knows this, AFK just stands for away from keyboard. If someone's AFK, they aren't playing, or they're away from their computer, or just tabbed out of the game. Often referred to as AFK players in spawn rooms who just sit there for the whole round doing nothing and you just want them to move, or at least disconnect so that your friend can join. An air blast is a compression blast using all of Pyro's flamethrowers aside from the phlogistonator, which is activated using the alternate fire button, so usually right click. It emits gas from the end of the weapon that can reflect projectiles such as rockets, arrows, and sentry rockets, knock back opponents, and extinguish teammates. In this last case, doing so heals the Pyro by 20 points, but you should note that this cannot be used underwater. An alt or alternate account usually refers to a second Steam account which can be used for a variety of purposes, such as hiding identity. I've also used a second account to hide an idle service to get free items, which can come in handy when you're free to play and don't have any backpack space. An ambi is a slang name for an ambassador revolver for spy. It can also be used to refer to players who mainly use this weapon, or use it a lot, or even use it exclusively. I.e. WATCH OUT! There's an ambi spy right over there. Next up, we've got the Amputation Station, which is when a medic stands in one place and taunts with the Amputator. This heals all allies in its radius and is a partially secret or often forgotten about ability. An Anger Sniper is a sniper who wears the Anger Cosmetic, who often acts as a tryhard. They're usually associated with killing friendly players, taunting after kills or using really aggressive binds, and are often seen using the Botkiller Sniper Rifle or the Orpa Hand. I can't lie until reading this, I did not know this trope existed, and it also sounds extremely similar to me when I was 15, so... AoE stands for Area of Effect, and references a weapon that can damage multiple subjects in an area around the projectile, such as a rocket or a grenade. This is often referred to as splash damage, in fact I don't hear anyone say AoE unless it's like healing or in League of Legends or something, but if you say that, th thumbs up to you. An Aussie, not referring to El Maxo, is short for Australian, the type of golden weapon you can win from completing the Two Cities Man Up Tour. If you want to know more about what the gold substance actually is, and its complete history, you can check out the complete TF2 lore in 15 minutes video, which sums up everything and you can find it on my channel. Auto balance refers to being switched from one team to another due to a specific server mechanic which deems the teams as unbalanced, which is usually just to an unequal amount of players on each team. This is also often memed when people say they were auto balanced right at the end of the match, so they just won the match for their team, but then right in the last second, maybe on the last time they died, they get moved to the other team, so then they lose the entire round and they wasted their time. Extinguish is a colloquialism that describes the mini crit that occurs when a burning enemy is killed by the extinguisher, usually in a flare gun plus air blast combo. This is almost synonymous with montages such as the ones from the notorious Skechek, who is likely more recently notorious for other reasons. This series also has a trading terminology section, giving you the player vocab specific to trading and servers and their communities. For A, we have ads. These are low value items added to a trade with valuable items to make the trade a bit more enticing. 
During my trading days, which is more like my losing money days, they were more often referred to as sweets. It's a cool idea, but it's borderline bribery. And that's it for the letter A. I was tempted to do A to C instead of just A to move the series along a bit faster, but I also don't want the videos to be too long. Let me know what you prefer though. Sub if you enjoyed and check out my other videos and I'll see you next Wednesday. Damn, that was bananas. <laughs> All right, guys, see you on the flip side. Serve us up. See you in the next video. Subscribe to Oris TV for more silly shenanigans. <laughs>